Yo, what's going on, Epic7? I'm Sue, and this is my beginner's guide to Abyss Floor 97. Floor 97 will have you squaring off against Green Violet in what is not necessarily a difficult fight, but very much a headache-inducing fight if you try to play it the way that it was intended. So Violet has two passives, the first of which is Combat Instinct. After anyone's turn ends, Violet gets 15% combat readiness. So he's going to spawn three adds with him if the adds are alive. Well, then Violet is going to get a ton of extra combat readiness every single cycle. Additionally, he is unaffected by increases in damage proportional to max health. That means Daydream Joker is not the best option for your damage artifact. It also means Commander Lorena, while viable, is a weaker option overall. Additionally, he has this passive here, Maintain Dignity. He's going to heal if he ever has two or more debuffs on him. So ideally, you only want to have one debuff, which would be Defense Break in this case. Otherwise, he's going to get a ton of healing. He also gets increased greater attack buff and increased greater defense buff, which makes him very tanky and hit extremely hard. The thing is, the only way to actually get rid of those buffs is to kill the adds that he spawns like Tyrell Spearman, for example, or Tyrell Archer. Their abilities are what get rid of his greater attack buff. So you kind of have to choose. If you leave them alive, Violet gets a ton of turns. If you kill them, then you're stuck with having a ton of extra buffs on him. And he also has certain conditions where if you attack his allies, he will counter for big damage. Yeah, the whole fight's a headache. So the way I decided to approach it is just simply rush Violet down and ignore the adds as uh, fast as possible. Now let's take a look at what the team that we're actually playing is here. Starting with our tank, you already know. Adventure Raz, the best knight in all of Abyss. Six stars here would be ideal if you can get it, level 60. But uh, if not, level 50 is probably fine. Please stop sleeping on Raz, guys. For pretty much every video going forward, Raz is going to be the de facto default tank. So I highly recommend investing in him if you have not already. Characters like Brig and Lilius can take you far, but they're not going to do as much as Adventure Raz long term. So you might as well get in on the ground floor. Boots are speed main stat, health percentage ring, health percentage necklace, 65 percentage plus on effectiveness, and Arius is the artifact. Best PvE healer in the game, Tamarin. Potion Vial is what I use for the artifact. Similar story here for her equipment. Speed on the boots, health percentage on the ring, health percentage here on the necklace. And then, obviously, plus 7 on Song of the Forest and plus 1 Shining Star as investment. Level 50 is fine. Ideally, level 60 would be where you want to be. As for the damage dealer, I decided to go with Sermia because, well, we're fighting against a green unit. So, having that extra dodge chance, that miss chance when they attack Sermia is good. Because if she gets targeted by Violet's ultimate, maybe she might get one shot. In my testing, when I used Lorena, uh, she actually did end up getting one shot by Violet. So, having Sermia pretty good option gear is pretty much all of the free dash gear she should be level 60 because she's your primary damage dealer she is free through the game's expert hunt challenges you can basically consult any of my uh beginners hunt guides to explain how to get sermia it's pretty much detailed in there artifact is a symbol of unity because it's free for everyone as long as you've been in a guild for any duration of time but feel free to use whatever damage artifact you want for the exclusive equipment, which you'll get also through the Expert Hunt Challenge by just completing the quest for Sermia. I've gone with Playing with Fire here to increase our chance at damage. But the second one here on Hot Streak, for example, right? This one grants the barrier, the caster a barrier for two turns when using Hot Streak. That is a great option if you are dying on this floor, if you're having difficulty keeping Sermia alive. That'll work. Obviously, all of the gear on her is free gear acquired through the 6th Anniversary event. If you don't have it, feel free to use whatever gear you've got from either Hunts or the Adventurer's Path up until this point. And now for the last spot here, you could go with a damage dealer of your choosing if you want. Uh, obviously not something blue. Blue wouldn't be very good versus Violet. But uh, any other damage dealer you want can work here. I did manage to use Camilla. So if you have her from previous runs, you can use Camilla in the slot. It'll work just fine. I wanted to highlight Inos here, but any other healer that you have will work just fine here. Angelica might be alright, Angelic Montmorency, these will all work fine. I decided to go with Inos on Celestine because it gives me a good mix of healing to make sure that my damage dealers don't die from how hard Violet hits. And it also gives attack and speed buff for my team. 
It's just overall a very, very good character, I feel like, for Abyss, and one that is very underrepresented, which is why I wanted to highlight her here. So if you manage to pull one of these from the 6th anniversary event, I think she is worth your investment for PvE. Again, criminally underrated unit, in my opinion. Artifact needs to be Celestine, so if you don't have Celestine, consider using a different healer or just take a Celestine from the 6th anniversary selector if you're watching this during the event. All right, with the explanation out of the way, let's jump into it. You can't close so as always, we take care of the ads for one. We get, started? Sure. get our defense buff up. Burn away the evil. The play? Your plan get our speed buff and attack buff from Inos. Back off now if you don't want to get involved. I'll blow you away. <laughs> If I must fight so we have a 100% chance to miss, so we're never going to get the defense break, so we might as well just pick up this kill here. Heal up Sermia. Go for a defense break. Skill 2 for greater attack buff extension. And then S3 to kill our defense broken one. Ooh, sadly missed. Should we get started? I yes, I think I'm going to faint. Could you give me something useful? Sadly, no defense break there. I'll protect you. Help. You can't close your eyes. Yep. What's the play here? How? What fool dares to challenge me? All right. Sadly, Let's double do miss. We can get no the defense buff it. up here. It'll be back before Just we make it to floor me. two. I'm scared. <gasps> what should I do next? How would you feel? So we'll go Inos again for the speed up. Should we get started? Potion Ba coming in the clutch. All right, and now we can just basically walk this down. I'll protect you. I shall honor you with my presence. You can't close your eyes. What should I do now? If I must fight. I. I think I'm going to spend my entire fortune on victory here. All right, let's do this. I'm scared. Yep. What fool dares to challenge? Should we get started? Yeah. Could you give Build me up all those wonderful to... souls for the next floor. I I think I'm going to back off now if you don't want to get involved. I'll protect you. What's the play? You can't close your eyes. Should we get started? Yeah. Shall we get going? Yeah. Uh, am I in? I'm scared. All right, let's do this. I shall honor you. Yeah. All right, now we're on to Violet. Like I said, we're just gonna rush Violet down. The mechanics are just a headache, and honestly, just prolong the fight. He's not that tanky, even with the buffs, where we have to worry about it. We could just kind of rush him. I'm more worried about his damage, if anything. We want to take a first shot at him now while he's vulnerable. What should I do next? Same thing here. We're going to soul burn. I want to make sure I get that defense break in. I just want to do as much damage as I can to him right off the rip before he gets his massive defense buff. So we took off about 25%. And you can see there, now he's got that defensive attack buff up. And we can't get rid of it. Focus is pretty massive there. Getting that cleanse, that target off. You can see, Sermi is taking a ton of damage, so we want to make sure we get the defense buff up here. Let's get some healing here from Inos, as well as a speed buff. Alright, so we're all top back off now. Am I in? Shall we 
get going. You can't close your eyes. Yep. I'll protect you. So now we have to worry about this S3 this. here. Butterfly cut. Nice. What's the play here? I'm actually going to extend his defense break to two turns, so that way I can have a shot at him. Thankfully, it went into Raz and missed. And then we burn here for big damage. I'm scared. Heal up. All right, so now he's going to give invincibility to the adds. Do not attack the adds. Do not use AOE attacks on the adds. You will get countered. All right, let's do this. This won't be an easy fight. On my way. I shall honor you with my presence. You can't close your eyes. So we're going to idle here. This will also allow me to demonstrate what happens when you AOE in a second. So we can AOE here with Inos because this skill cannot trigger a counterattack, so we don't have to worry about it. If I must fight, I hope you're ready. Back off now if you don't want to get Now watch what happens when we AOE here. Yeah. So that's just damage you just don't want to take. This won't be Keep soul burning going after Violet. Am I in? As you can see, he's really low on health. How your life is. Once again, thankful that we missed, but you can see that's a lot of damage that she took. That's why I've been playing three red units, because you want to minimize the chances that you just automatically just die randomly like that. And there you go, Abyss 97. It's a little bit kind of touch and go, a little bit sloppier than some of the other guides I've done here because honestly doing the mechanics is incredibly tedious and honestly not really worth it. As you can see, you could just very easily burst down the team if you've got consistent defense breakers and one strong, solid, single target damage dealer. If I missed anything or you have questions, as always, let me know down in the comment section below and help out your fellow players as well. If you have a different team that you tried, Post that down there as well for all to see that they can get another idea of what to do on the floor. As always, enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your week, and I'll catch you all in Abyss Floor 98. Later now.